looks like crap. <laughs> but I haven't done it yet, so we'll have this. He's over there. Oops, over there. He actually had a really good night last night. But now he's not feeling so good right now, but I guess you take the good with the bad, right? But, um, are you just not feeling good or is it pain? Pain? take so much relief medicine yeah I've already maxed out his pain medicine so on the flip side in another hour if that doesn't kick in he gets his steroids and 10 to 1 10 to 1 that's why you're, you're hurting because you're about due for the steroids seems like the steroids are really helping and then he goes in at 1 for radiation and they'll give him a shot of pain medicine because of him having to lay on the table for so long. Which I'm kind of hoping because you'll have the steroids in fairly early and then they give you the shot that maybe you'll be able to make it through the full session. They only, at one o'clock they only schedule me for my abdomen. They then schedule me for my neck. Why? Because they schedule in the middle of the day, so. It's only, that window is only for that, sec that section. But then why wouldn't we have just kept our appointment for later on in the afternoon when they could have done both? They, they changed it. I didn't. I'm sure there's a reason. I don't know. But I filled out all the paperwork. I took it over to the office. So now we just wait again. Um, it could be two weeks before we hear anything, though, because she goes out of town next week to go to corporate offices. They are going to list the place today. Um, there was a little bit of questions. What's happening is, is he is going to list his trailer through the park. So basically what would happen was is he would list it. The park would do all the legwork on finding a buyer, showing the place, blah, blah, blah so on and so forth. In retrospect, then what would happen is, is the park would end up making a bit of a commission off of it. So if he lists it through the park, then the park has their own creditors that they deal with, or it's a company that finds a creditor. I, I'm not entirely sure on how it works. And then we apply through the park and she sends all the paperwork out to the, the creditors to get us approved. Oh, my nose itches. What that means? Somebody's thinking about me? Something like that. So I filled out all the paperwork, gave them everything that she could possibly need at this point in time. And oh God. Oh, she'll send it in to the company and the company will get back to us on whether or not we are approved or denied. At this point in time, it's again, it's a it's up to God. Because I don't, I don't have it in me to fight anymore for it. Because it's like I have bigger things to fight for. So, you know, I'm gonna let them do the work. I mean, if she needs any more information, she'll call us. We'll give her the information, and she'll do the work. She said she has everybody she's put through. She's gotten approved. So, here's hoping. Um, I think basically the biggest criteria was making sure we had a credit score of 600 or above. We both do. His is closer to seven. Mine was about 650, but it's probably dropped a little bit because of the last lender that we went through and then poking out our reports. But yeah, so he'll list it. Now he's got to list it at a higher price than what he offered it to us for because basically after the commission and the costs and everything he will still get the same amount of money want, he doesn't want to lose money right he doesn't want to lose money so he's listing it for five thousand higher than what he offered it to us for originally because that five thousand basically covers commission fees so on and so forth so here's hoping guys so he's going to do that today they're not going to like advertise it or anything right now they're going to just he's going to list it we're going to try to buy it if it doesn't go through then the park will list it and somebody else will buy it that's just the way it'll go. But, and it's pretty much our last shot. So if this, this doesn't work, then we stay where we're at.
is what it is. You know, that's like yesterday. I was going to go get dirt and do a whole bunch of stuff with the yard. But then I'm like, well, do I want to do all that? But it could be up to a month before we get out of here. I can always dig up plants. <laughs> so I'm not really all that worried about it. Or I could leave them for the next person that wants to buy the place. Then at least it'll look pretty out here. I mean, a lot of it we're going to take with us. But I think I'm going to leave the bricks. Yeah, the bricks. Yeah. And we'll just leave the marigolds in them. See what's pretty, what's not. Um, there isn't because he has he has plants over there, so I really don't want to dig up a whole bunch of stuff. I will probably, if I dig up anything, will be maybe maybe not because I have a ton of lilies in the pots. I might dig up some of the lilies in the side gardens and plant them in pots to take with me because I really like my lilies and we've had the lilies for four years now haven't we like they've just been and they'll just reproduce like if you plant a lily the next year you'll have like twice as many lilies definitely taking the cactuses anyway we're back to talking about moving so that's a good thing I think but anyway it was originally supposed to rain today I don't think it's going to so I might do a little bit in the yard today I don't know I don't know what I'm going to do, but right now we're just going to relax and then we'll go in for his radiation appointment. And then after that, I don't know what the day will hold. We will see how he feels and I really want to get to the beach. <laughs> Even if we can't go on the beach, I just want to go see it. I want to go see the ocean. We haven't been there in a while. I do want to get some bird seed though. So I can put some bird seed in the bird feeders. We get a lot of birds around here. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a few. video that we're actually going to put up separate so I kind of had explained what we were been doing all day so I'm going to explain it again in case I cut that out a lot in the next, last video but basically we went to radiation then we went to Walmart <coughs> and we stopped in at the mailbox and we got packages I got two packages one we've already opened and that's going up as a separate video because it deserves to be its own um, not that this package doesn't, but that one's just a little more meaningful. So we're going to add, and we kind of explain things a little bit more. So, um, uh, but this one, this is, this is a package from Mr. P, which I did not know was coming because I haven't won any giveaways lately, but if I'm correct, I've been watching videos of some of my other fellow YouTubers Shut who up. have also gotten packages from Mr. P, so I'm guessing this is along those same lines. Is it to just you? Yes. And we have lots of not in my house <laughs> varnish, which is typical. Pink and red and purple the card. Ooh, I ripped it. Oh well. Another card I can add to our vision board. Uh, Trish, thanks for the heart smile you and the rest of the ladies gave me. Apparently, everything was sold out on the first day. Enclosed are a few goodies for you. Thanks again, Mr. P. Um, if you missed it, I'll try to figure out how I can link the, um, the video below. But on April Fool's Day, me and some of uh, my other, other yeah there was i think there was like i can't remember how many of us there were but a bunch of us and fellow youtubers and um we uh we uh april fool's day pranked mr p <laughs> um 
I'm sure if you he's, follow Mr. P, you know exactly what we're talking about. Yeah, he closet the craft for Mr. P. But anyway, I'll try to link that video down below so you guys can see it. But in the meantime, we've got all kinds of stuff in here. And it's all wrapped up nice and pretty. I guess we'll start with the front and work our way back. And it says, be happy. Be yourself. I'm out of tissue paper. I might. I should try to save this. Oh, those yeah. are pretty. Here are the pens. Look at those two little pens. They're really pretty. Oh, we're twinning today. Mechanical On pencil purpose? and ballpoint pen. So it's a pencil purpose. and a pen. Yes, we purposely twinned today. So we're both wearing lavender shirts and white shorts. We only had one person comment while we were out there. So that's really cool. That's a pen and a pencil. There you go. I like that. That's really cute. Okay, next. Can I open something? No. Why? Guys. No, I got a heart smile. I like the pixelated heart smiles. I think they're cute. Heart smile. I love heart smiles. And I save them too. I'm in a pencil pouch. LOL. LOL. Aww. Do a little good every day. That's cute. I like that. I like that pouch. No, you can't have it. I wasn't going to ask. I already have one. Mine's better. Whatever. I need one. You need one? Yeah, I'm sure I can find a use for it. But I like it. <laughs> we can share. We can share it? Okay, we can share it. That looks like a big have to dig, but I know they're here because they always come. They always come in a Mr. P package. <laughs> what? Love ops. <laughs> Yay. And some garnish. I'll be sure to save that and send it back. <laughs> Why? Why not? Reuse it. It makes, good pack it makes good packing material. I'm going to, I don't know if I can save this, the one on this because this one got kind of bumped around. That's okay. Oh, that's really cool. Is it a planner? It's a letter writing set. Huh? Oh, what? It's Open. a letter writing set. Practice writing your letters. A. I like, I'll be honest. I would B. much rather write letters and send them than, than um, type something up formally and send it. Well, I'm, I'm an old school person envelopes. like Trish. I'd rather handwrite it. I, yeah, I'd rather handwrite it. So they come with oh, these envelopes. that type of letter. What did you think? I thought it was like calligraphy or something. And then it's got this notebook that says make your own magic. So it's got the envelopes and Isn't the notebook. Like wind? Oh. That's really cool. cool. I like it. And now that I've been sending a lot more stuff out in the mail, it's nice to have different options of things to do. That's really cool. Thanks, Mr. P. I like it. No, thanks, Mr. P. I mean, I know that everybody in the world's going through a lot, and you obviously went out of your way to, to touch a, a couple of people's hearts. Yeah, and there, really, honestly, you didn't need to thank us for the April Fool's joke. Um, but, it was fun, and I we really appreciate it. And and little, thank you it's the, it's the little, little things. things and it's it's nice to get heart smiles and i've gotten uh, some giant ones today so thank you very much i think i'm just going to stick this heart smile right in here where's those pens i got the pens over here and i'll put these in here what start the heart smile thing what do you mean start like start it what do you mean start it i don't know what you're asking heart me heart smiles did you start start it did i start what doing it heart smiles was started about four thousand years ago by cavemen <laughs> and if you look at the cave drawings, you'll see that they actually had heart smiles. 
It's probably true. I'm gonna go look that up. <laughs> To answer your question, Lacey, I have been crocheting. My, my heart, Everybody everybody's has. got their own separate way of delivering a heart smile. Um, you know, Mr. P kind of started it months ago, um, you know, by ending these things saying, go out and make somebody's heart smile. Oh. And, you know, and a lot of us have already adopted that mantra, like, you know, go out and, you know, put good into the world, you'll get good back. You know, I've always believed in that with good karma. Like, you get what you put out. So, if you're going to put out negativity and bad vibes and, you know, you're going to be a gossiper and you're going to, you know, create drama and, you're, you know, you're going to get that back. That's what you're going to get back. That's what your life's going to entail. You know, but if you go out and you try to make people smile and you try to help people whenever you can help people and you do those things, then that's the kind of stuff you're going to get back and you're going to have in your life. And that's what I want. So... That was kind of the thing behind the heart smile. It's just kind of everybody personalizes theirs. Yeah, per, has personalized it. You know, I when we were sitting in the hospitals, you know, making those little hearts was something I could do quick and easy that I could do without much thought. That was comforting for me. So I started crocheting them. So now when I send packages out, I add my own heart smile. Mr. P adds his paper version. Um, you know, other people just consider a heart smile any kind of a gift or something that's uplifting or fun so you know at the end of this you know if, the, the bottom line is is go out and make somebody's heart smile because when you make other people's heart smile then your own heart smiles and it just I like it goes to the next I like heart smiles I like when my heart smiles and I like making other people's heart smiles so that's it that's all I got for you as far as packages um, so yeah, I don't know what else we're gonna do today. Gotta, I have um, gotta plant those. I don't know where to plant them, and I don't. If now if we get the house, and <laughs> then we'll dig them back up and we'll move them. Well, but it's a lot of work. <laughs> anyway. Anyways. Oh, I think I've already explained that we now have a better. We have another chance at getting the house. So yesterday well the last couple of days I, you know the vlogs you've seen me doing all this yard work that's because i'm trying to get the yard to look nice and homey and inviting because we spend a good chunk of our time out here because that's the only place we got space all of it we could if we could yeah except for when it's raining and cold and even when it's cold if we bundle up we can do it we were out here this morning and we were tempted to bring the heat around yeah so it's we spend a lot of time out here, so I want it to look nice if we're going to spend time out here. Well, for a while, I wasn't doing a whole lot because we thought, well, when we might get this house, I'm not going to put a lot of my energy into doing stuff around here when I'm going to have to do it over there. Well, then yesterday, I was like, oh, I'm going to go get dirt, and I'm going to plant this, and I'm going to do this, and maybe I'll go to the Dollar Tree and get a few little ornaments. But then I'm like, wait a minute, what if we get the house? <laughs> so that's what we're doing. I'm gonna make, I think I'm gonna make hot dogs on the grill and I have a salad mix, like a ranch bacon pasta salad that I'm gonna make for dinner. But other than that, that's about the gist of our day. I'm not gonna say this is the last clip, but. No, it's too nice. But We'll yeah. make it happen. It was kinda nice to come home and have some, some heart smiles to open. No, I got a haircut. I needed a haircut. Yeah, he did. Bad. Does anybody else like these pretzels? Ooh. I love these things. I like the cheese ones too, but these are the honey mustard onion. I don't know. Alright, well, we'll see you guys in, in a few minutes or seconds or something. Ooh.